Guys of Reddit, what can us girls do to make you feel special? I got told my eyes look nice a few days ago. I honestly can't remember the last time someone complimented me before that. Certainly made me freeze for a second. Edit, I'm seeing a lot of I want to do that but I don't know them want to seem like I'm flirting etc. It is important to mention that this compliment came from a random woman I had never met before who was taking my order at a fast food place. You don't have to know them. Cuddle us. Be the big spoon. Stroke your nails through our hair. Most guys are so starved of any casual physical affection. Compliment us please. We really need it sometimes. Text us first. Edit. Thanks for all the upvotes and rewards I truly appreciate it. Compliments. Just finished high school and remember that one time about 5 years ago someone told that I was getting more muscular and being not quite a popular kid that was one of the very first compliments I ever got and at the time gave me quite a confidence boost. Something that simple can make a great impact. Edit. Went to sleep. Woke up to this blowing up and definitely wasn't expecting. Thanks a lot for the silver and gold. And all the replies. Random long hugs. A simple compliment. Oh you look good today. Just hug your guy more often. Tell your man how much he means to you. I feel pretty worthless most of the time because I have serious mental issues. Nothing makes me feel better than when my girl looks me dead in the eyes and tells me that I mean the world to her. I don't understand why I mean so much to her. But I'm so happy that she's there. Tell us what you think. I mean what you think about us. Don't waste your and our time with hints and stuff like that. Approach us. Initiate conversation. Some of us feel way too ugly and insecure to do that to anybody we feel is even slightly attractive. Cuddle. That's all I need right now. For a shy person, relating to any gender, who is too caught up in his own head, just saying hi or small conversation means a lot. Edit. Thanks for that shiny silver. I had a girl drive to my house and leave a note that pretty much said. Have a great day it took her an hour to do that. Made my day. That was 25 years ago. A lot of the people you're addressing here on reddit are single dudes who want what a relationship would bring. The little things like cuddles and compliments that you should be giving your man regardless. Because you love him and want him to be happy. What you should be focusing on. If you're in a relationship, are the less thought of things that are still important. Do something thoughtful for him that he might not expect. Does he like cookies? Bake some cookies for you both to share. If you suck at baking, it's the thought that counts. You did something for him that was fun for you and pleasantly thoughtful for him. Keep your relationship fresh and propose dates or just going for walks. Make him feel good about spending time with you. That for me is what would make me feel special. Having my better half try to make me feel wanted and appreciated. If we are interested in each other, but we never actually ask you, it would be easier if you asked us. We would be happy and so happy with you in our lives. Every night my GF moisturizes my face, pays me a few compliments, mists my pillow with lavender spray and puts some bag removal balm under my eyes. A bit over the top. But I went to a friend's house with a lady I hadn't known very long. But when I sat down, she sat on the floor next to me. Even though there were other chairs to sit on, it definitely made me feel special. Even though it didn't lead to anything, we were never more than casual friends. Basically, any act that says, mine in front of others is appreciated. Just a hand on the shoulder at the supermarket checkout is nice. Edit wow. I didn't expect all the response. Thanks for the gold and silver. Just to clarify one thing. I don't mean mine in a possessive or jealous way. I mean just a gesture to indicate that we are together. Again. Thanks everybody. I feel special. Comma and thank you. Audrey. The lady on the floor. She was a class act in many ways. Being okay with me being an emotional train wreck sometimes without me having to give an explanation to why. Nor jumping on one thing I say during that time. Thinking that must be the reason then. Edit. Thanks for the silver. It's my first. And the many likes. Actually talk about guys problems rather than saying oh. Man up. Because guys have been raised to not talk about their problems. 
and getting the chance to be able to is a very special event indeed. Hug me tightly without saying anything. Let me kiss your forehead. Girls are constantly being told that they're pretty and adorable blah blah blah. But for us boys da not so much. Over time, it creates a complex. When you see a guy that you think is cute da ducking tell him so. Because we don't often get that kind of thing. Tell me I'm handsome sexy. Tell me I matter. That I'm important. And yes, I like cuddling too. Fact is, we're all human. We all want to feel loved. As men we have to put on a certain mask for society but if you let us be vulnerable when we're around you, you'll have a loyal guy who will always appreciate you. Off topic but damn OP you're wholesome. Take an active interest in my hobbies. Obviously we don't have to share the same interests or hobbies. But remembering them and being willing to try them goes a long way. Even if you hate it. The mere fact that you tried something new for me would be awesome. Edit. Thank you to everyone for the upvotes and comments. I've been lurking on various subreddits for a few months and finally decided to join the fold just yesterday and make an account. This post has been blowing up in the past hour so I'll try to go through and respond to the more detailed comments and stories. Sorry if I miss yours and thank you again everybody. Have a wonderful day. Edit 2. Platinum? Holy cow. Thank you so much kind stranger. My first day on reddit has been fantastic to say the least thanks to you and all of these heartwarming comments. Compliment us and ask us things that wouldn't be considered such as what is your favorite flower? Some of us have things and interests we really want to share but don't because it'd be weird or abnormal for a man to say and think. Edit. Whoa I never anticipated this much good feedback. Thanks and I hope I managed to cheer some people up. Me. Ass. GF. Ass. Me. Ass. GF. Ass. Me. Ass. GF. Ass. PlayStation. Beep. GF. 8 in a want attention. Saves in order to read through later. When you talk about your future, involve us. It's really nice to know that my girlfriend always thinks of me in her future. Referring to things as when we all we will with enthusiasm. Just something different. Any kind of positive comment about appearance or nicknames. I'm 6 feet 2 220 pounds and a co-worker of mine calls me babigeneral anytime she sees me. I don't even care. I feel great as fck after that. Honestly, if you like an introverted guy who you think likes you, asking him out instead of waiting for him to ask you. Asking a girl out can be very hard for some guys, especially introverted ones. And they might not ask you out in the first place because it's so scary. Literally just touch me without asking. Rub my back. Play with my hair. Pull me into your lap. It doesn't have to be sexual. It doesn't have to be super hot or sexy or any of that. Just some warm human contact. Hold me in a hug for a little longer. Pull me by my arm back into bed when I go to get up. It makes me feel needed and wanted. Guys feel unwanted way more often than we let on. We're just told that we aren't allowed to talk about it. Give me attention. Acknowledge my existence. Make me feel wanted. Surprises are good. One of the best ones I got was a pizza delivered to me at work in front of my friends. Next best was a series of naughty pictures while I was at a meeting sitting next to my VP. Thankfully I was able to see on my watch what they were so I didn't look on my phone. But the anticipation of looking at them after the meeting was a great torture. Compliments. 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 I had just gotten divorced. 10 years together. 2 kids. House. ETC, and got entirely hosed in the process. I did my best to hide how I was feeling at work, but I was a complete wreck inside. One of my co-workers saw me having a moment in my car after work, and after checking on me, said I didn't have too much to worry about because I was a total catch, and was the topic of many a break room conversation. My ex had spent years putting me down, and that one compliment was enough to break her spell. I'm no guy but I was on the phone with my boyfriend earlier today, and I told him these exact words I love you. Like a lot. Like so ducking much and he said just hearing that out loud and not over text makes him feel loved and special and that's all a guy needs. To know he's loved by his girl and he'll love her right back. K 
casual contact throughout your time with your partner goes a really long way. It you can get the door for me every once in a while. Hugs are nice too. Make us feel like we're needed. I can't tell you how many relationships have fallen apart because either person is making their so feel like they are just a background character is the game of the other's life. When you make us feel wanted needed, it makes us feel important and we will make more time for you. Be a hundred times more tolerant of you for your shortcomings. And maybe even make us consider spending the rest of our lives with you. However, you have to be able to commit to this. If you start treating your man like this, he's going to start to expect it whenever you're together with each other. If you just stop, he'll feel like you were just trying to play his emotions. Speaking from experience. Edit. I've only been on Reddit for one day and I've already gotten this many messages. Woohoo. Show some boob when we least expect it or you see we feeling down. Trust me boobs make everything better. You're all so cute. I didn't realize how little it took to make you guys happy. The guy I crossed the room to compliment is probably still pretty psyched I did that for him. Haven thought about it since. Nobody's gonna see this. But please give us more attention. I'm just asking for more compliments. Hugs. Gestures that show how much you love your guy. A lot of us don't hear compliments in months. Don't be on the phone all the time. A simple compliment will do for most guys. We are usually so deprived of things like that that one simple compliment can be enough to get us interested in you. Notice small things. I'm losing weight. Got a haircut. And nobody noticed. Comma. If we're dating. Pinch my butt when I'm not expecting it. I'm really not used to getting compliments. I wish I had an opportunity to get more experience. Spontaneous blowjobs. Laughing at my jokes makes me feel special. Honestly. Loyalty. I just want to feel like my complete devotion and hard work for a relationship isn't just thrown aside. Where are the girls who want to build relationships instead of yellowing around promiscuously? Never had one. But there's this cutscene in the darkness too where you just kind of hang out with your girlfriend. And it's so sweet. Like. You just hold each other and slowly sway around the room. Like it's just us. And us against the world would be fine. I'd like some flowers once in a while. Either something nice for a vase. Or even some bulbs for me to grow. I'd proudly put those itches on display. Even at work. Sometimes we need about 30 minutes to unwind from work. A kiss and or hug works much better than telling us about your day or telling us what to do around the house. Give us time to switch from work mode to husband boyfriend mode. Duration. The longer you're with someone, the more secure they feel that you belong to them. Maybe women have a different outlook. Maybe other men do. But I like being possessed by someone. How to express it? Just keep one hand on me. Hugs. Just run up and be like mine. Squeeze. Ask about our feelings and how we are feeling mentally. Mental problems are looked at as a joke when you're a male they suppose you to be strong in any aspect. Everyone is saying stuff like compliment us. So I'm gonna say something else. Most of us are starved of physical affection such as and not limited to hand holding, hugging, and cuddling. Do that. Makes me feel like you love me. Send a picture of yourself if you're feeling cute. I'm not talking nudes, but a nice smile goes a long ways towards feeling special. My ex-wife didn't do this ever in our 8 years together. Woman I've gone on 2 dates with has done this twice already. Makes me feel like a million bucks that she wants me to think of her. This is going to sound like a D thing, but if a guy asks you out in a non douchey way, please don't say you're like a brother to me. We can handle it. And that's the outcome we're usually prepared for. Just let us down easily without making us feel gross. On the flip side, I know I love deep conversations. Or at least text conversations. But I don't really trust many people. Deep conversations are a way to my heart. Also, something something touch boobs something something. Defend my rights to love and be with my husband against the homophobes of the world. Just realize that we guys are actually interested in being held close and given the same kind of affection we give you. Many people just want to be held close and told that they are loved and appreciated. 
Stop this hole. I really like him but he needs to approach me first. Bullcrap. Maybe he's shy or doesn't even know that you are around. Compliment my low self-esteem non-existent body image. Personally, reassure me of the things I'm doing right in the relationship and convict me of the things I can improve on. That shows me that you pay attention to all aspects of who I am. Even the less desirable parts. I know you're a strong and independent woman who can take care of yourself. But express to me your willingness to let me be in control sometimes. Do things to ensure to me that I'm your man. And prove to me that you see me that way. That's what shows me I mean something to you in my opinion. Well basically someone who's wild, non-sexual, just someone you can do crazy things with and be fearless. Home cooking is the best. Even if it's not good, we appreciate the effort. Experimentation in cooking is even better. Introduce your boyfriend to others as such. Hey guys this is my boyfriend. Makes us feel like you're proud of us. I love being the big spoon. The little jetpack. The head scratches. Running my fingers through his hair. Nuzzling his beard. Running my hand down his back when I walk past him in the kitchen. Smacking that butt I Eskimo kisses. Forried kisses. Those kisses. He's my prince and he should know it here. Continue asking us questions like the oh more than. Engage deeply with us about what we want. Hold us tightly. Let us talk and listen to what we want. Don't forget that we want love as much as you do. If there were that one thing for me it would be don't take the little things for granted. What I mean by this is. Those little things that he did for you all the time that really attracted you to him. Chances are. If he did it at first. He still does it now. But you've grown so used to it that you don't really notice it. Does he randomly clean the house? Bring you ice cream every night? Don't let those become things that you just expect him to do. Because you start to get annoyed when he doesn't do that. Even if it's not a thing that makes you go aww anymore. Pretend it is occasionally. Make him feel like those things are appreciated and it will go a long way. Source. 7 years of happy marriage. But had those issue for a few of those. Be nice to me. So I get confused and never talk to you again. Compliments stick with us for a while. Remember that, the other day, my girl best friend literally complimented me about how much I cared about her and it stuck with me for weeks. Initiate contact such as hand holding and kisses and compliment appearances like I feel like women get that a lot but guys don't really get compliments like women do. Also ask questions about his hobby you don't have to understand anything it just feels nice to tell someone you care about the thing you like to do even if they don't understand it. Physical contact. Back rubs. Blow jobs. That's about it and I'll be happy as a clam. Hey, Rathamite. I think you're cool and I have a crush on you. Let's go see a movie. Bill Burr said it best. One day just make a sandwich. Cut it down the middle. Add some chips. Then serve it to us with a beer and ducking leave. Just straight up leave. Come back a few hours later. If you never made your man cry before. That it will do it. Girlfriends. Please do not tell us boyfriends to come round and then when we do. Just sit on your phone most of the time. Scratch our backs until we purr like walruses. 1. Call us every once in a while instead of leaving it all to us. 2. Initiate intimacy. Kissing. Cuddling. More. ETC. Every once in a while instead of leaving it all to us. 3. When we pay attention and realize which little things you need us to do for you. And we do them. Actually acknowledge it. 4. Tell us how we make you feel. 5. Bet us a surprise gift. Nothing big. Just something small that you know well like. Instead of leaving the gifting all to us. 6. Find a way to return the time we spend watching the soaps and X Factor with you. Let me know if more suggestions are needed. This kinda bucks the trend. But, let me be nice to you. Some of my past girlfriends would never let me do anything nice for them. And it made me feel like they neither wanted nor needed me. I like cooking for you. I like opening doors for you. I like helping you with things that I can. Anything Lomeo I'm a background character in everyone's life it kinda sucks. Wouldn't know. Never happened.